Hey guys, it's Nelson with Galaxy Note 2 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to review an application called TouchPal X Keyboard. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of it, it's a super popular keyboard app that just came out a few days ago. It's already been downloaded over a million times in just a matter of days, so it's super popular, and I'm going to show you guys why it's so popular. Uh, it's free on the Play Store, so I'm just going to type in TouchPal Keyboard and it's up here, TouchPal X Keyboard so just download it it's free like I said which is awesome because I like free stuff just accept okay once we're done, uh, I've already played with it so I'm just gonna I'm gonna re-show you guys how uh, how it is to set up the keyboard first of all so once it's done, okay, it's successfully installed. Here we'll go, the first part is enable touchpal. Just tap on that. It'll tell you here about a warning saying that the keyboard will collect personal data, but that's pretty standard with any keyboard. That's downloaded, uh, it's a third party download, so just press continue, it'll take you to the settings. Um, select, and here's the warning that comes up. That's fine, touchpal X. Okay, now just press back. Then set as an active keyboard and this is the coolest way to input it'll go through a quick um, way of how it's like a short tutorial uh, it's didn't really help me much <laughs> so I'll just show you guys uh, in action so I'm gonna head over to my messages the first thing is uh, here are the different settings there's curve word gesture wave sentence gesture one-handed layout and word prediction so curve what that does is um it allows you to swipe around, which is uh, typical of keyboards now. A lot of them allow you to swipe, so I'll just show you guys what it is. It just allows you to do things like that. Just swipe around and type in a word. So the uh, application, or the, the feature that's uh, a bit cooler is Wave, called Sentence Gesture. So if I select that, it'll um, you can go through a short tour. I, uh, I'll just show you guys myself. So let's say I'm typing in the. So I type in the, and these words appear here that you guys can see, awkward, best, more, and only. So the reason awkward appears is because I've already used awkward when I was typing in after the. I put uh, the awkward bird. And what the keyboard does is it learns from your, from your typing. So words that you use commonly after the or after any other word will appear with a few other uh, options that are popular just in general like the best, the only, the more. Um, so from there you can just uh, swipe down whichever one you want to pick to the keyboard and it'll select it. And from there it'll keep going and it'll keep giving you words and if you don't want them you can just keep swiping around. But if you want to um, if you want to select them just swipe down and it, it increases your um, typing abilities by tenfold. It's just super fast. And this is the coolest feature on the keyboard. Uh, another feature is that you can uh, access the, the uh, emojis and emoticons uh, simply by swiping up. And that way you can tell your friends how sad you are, how happy you are, whatever. Let's see. Uh, there's also one-handed layout. It shifts it from the left or to the right. I said that opposite. This is the left, this is the right. In case you want to type with one hand and with uh, something like the, uh, the Galaxy Note 2, it's a big phone, so it's a... Uh, it's a good feature for these types, uh, and you can just use it with one hand. Okay, I'll take that off. And then there's also word prediction, which is what appears at the top for your normal keyboards. It appears up here, like if you type in a word, it'll give you options of what word you want to pick. So that's, uh, that's some of the features. Um, there's another one where you can use a sort of um, walkie-talkie feature. Up here, here's a microphone. Um, just like every other keyboard where you just speak, so let's say, hey, what's up? So it did what's up. Um, you can also go down here and hold this, and it'll be like a walkie-talkie, so I'm going to do it. Hey, what's up? And this walkie-talkie feature, just holding it down, is really, really accurate. I've used it. It's probably the best uh, voice to 
to text um, keyboard feature that I've ever used. It's just it's perfect and it's really really good. So I I can't uh, commend it. I can't recommend it enough. Um, another few of the features up here is the change of the layout of the keyboard. Whatever you guys prefer. T26 is the common one. That's the one that most everyone uses. Um, you can also this is more for when you're surfing the internet, copy and paste, and just selecting through it, selecting um, things that you want to, like I said, copy and paste, and then bring back. And if you press the Twitter icon, you'll be you'll be taken directly to your uh, your Twitter account, and from there you can type in, and it's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Let's say you open down this. Uh, okay, I'll take you now to a few of the settings, the touch bars, directly. Uh, these general settings. So I'll go to general settings. Um, you can change the sound, the vibration, the size of the keyboard, other things, the animations, the themes. Um, oh, actually, I'll go into that, the themes. Um, here are a few of the themes that you have on the device. I'll, um, I'll show you guys how to uh, change. It changes the theme of the keyboard, so the color and all that stuff. Okay, I'll go back to messaging. Um, to access that, you can just go here to themes. And here's a default one. Here's blue light, which I downloaded, and neon light. So if you want to set that, just tap on it. Uh, here you can clap, tap on more themes, and it'll take you to all the different themes. It has like over 30, I think. It has Hello Kitty, uh, neon stuff. So you can just go through these. They're quick downloads. They're all free. And from there, you can select them uh, as your keyboard. Okay, I'll check out some of the more settings. Um, Here's for you to enable or disable wave and curve the gestures. Um, you can do spell check, other things, how, how you want your prediction to come out, the prediction of the words. You can go to languages. It has over 70 languages, I, I think. And you can have mixed languages here. So if, you're, if you speak from English to Spanish and you need to switch over, you can select that, which is also a super awesome feature. Then here at personalization, uh, another awesome thing about the keyboard is that it can learn from your typing. So here it learns from your messages, and if you want it to learn from your Twitter, uh, your tweets, you can just select that and start, and it'll take you to Twitter, and from there you can log in. I know people hate linking stuff up, but it's pretty cool because it learns from your uh, from your tweets. So that just increases the improvement of uh, you typing and of you of you using your keyboard and type and uh, it figuring out what you want to type next, which I think is awesome. And so far, I've used it for about an hour, and it's already well accustomed to my typing, and it's increased my typing very. Uh, it's increased it by a high percentage, so I can see why there's so much hype about the uh, about this keyboard. All right, well that's it. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Galaxy Note 2 Softmodder. All right, thanks.